Happy day after Turkey Day, folks, and here's some pictures for you, folks, to disprove it even more than we've already thickenly done and basically positively a thousand percent and plus, you know, that's ridiculous, but hundred percent and way more than that. The idea that here's some photos again to show you that we have a sh object in front of us, the sun, or in front of, and if I watch the clock, and basically, yes, this should be in front of our other sun, Rigel Cantaris B, or even possibly another one that's passed in front of our sun in the supergiants, okay? As you see this object here in these photos coming through, we are going to get the dark object in front of what people would say the sun, but at 10.50 in the evening, Yes, they get 23 to 24 hours of sun down there, and also going to show you the Nehemiah actually eclipses again tonight with their footage down there in Antarctica. Okay, now this is from Casey Station. Okay, as you are getting this, it's not a flare of the camera. As you will see, here is the object coming down in front of the sun again. Okay, it creates this shadow, as you will see the video because it plays real fast you will see the shadow of these flags and also a big object that is in front of it because the fact being that it creates this and you can even see that you have to check that out as you can see that it's a tetrahedron up there by the sun reflect a reflection or a triangulation that comes into effect and it's in this basically Rigel Cantaris B triangulation flop action as you will I'll play the video in a few minutes and the idea that you are going to see the flags get their shadow then the idea that the only way that you're going to have a shadow again is the idea that it's an object and in the sky because the shadowing already goes by because the flags show the shadowing going by for the day of the sunlight. Okay, So these are photos through this that the idea of the object falls down in front of the sun. Okay, So here is a part of the eclipse that was caught by a photographer that I peeled off of uh, Space Weather also an aurora that the guy took a picture of. So let's play the video real fast. So here we go folks and you'll see the shadow of the flags come across and you see even the dark object in the sky there coming across. We have way more than one dark and there's the flags. So that's the last of the shading. See how the flags shaded on the ground right in front of that dozer? You can play it back and you can also go to the photos that I showed. Then in the evening of the PM we get the black object in front of Rigel Cantaris B until someone proves us wrong about that. But it is one of our other suns in the Supergiant's main sequence. Then you get the shadow coming across. And IE ended up having a vehicle park over there by the door, either the four tracks or one of those other vehicles in the idea of the same area that they had tetrahydrons before. And I'm sure, yeah, they go in there and out. It's just a, you know, it's a uh, what you would call basically just a coincidence, okay? But the idea that we have seen in the past the tetrahydrons right there with that little SUV pulled up in the my previous video. And as a matter of fact, there are the tetrahydrons again, just before the vehicle there. You will see the tetrahydrons come up here in just a second. Watch where that vehicle there is. And you're going to see some tetrahydrons come again on the ground. Right there they are coming across right there where those vehicles were just at. Let's play it. Since it plays fast, I can put it back to it again. And you're going to watch these tetrahydrons show up about where that vehicle's at. Watch, go to Dutch Sense. Dutch also has gotten down to this. There those tetrahydrons are just before the vehicle sat there. Okay. You can also see the tetrahydrons at, and then you have the object come down, and you can see through my photos, and let me go to my photos again so that the idea that I can show you once again that the idea of the object creates a shadow in front of the Rigel Cantaris B or whatever the object is that starts coming in at about 10 p.m. Okay, They get 24 hours of sun down there, 23 to 24 hours. They get a little bit of darkness, and the eclipse gave a little bit of darkness. Let's go to uh, the photos real fast again, or actually I'm going to save it to the end.
So the idea that you can watch this and play back and forth and then go to the end and I'll play through the and may have an ex, ex, you know somewhat explain again that the idea that you see and even right now I can do it since it's live fast as this comes down in front of Rigel Canteris B or whichever sun that it is that's going to come across the sky is that it puts a shadow over and a bam over it puts that there because it gets in front of that Rigel Cantaris speed that's coming down. Because the idea, the sun is already getting their 23 to 24 hours of sunlight already. And then that object comes in at the 10 a.m. object. And you see that there is more than two or three objects that go across as IE. We've seen the flags get shadowed. And now there's another shadow coming through. It's not cloud cover. Clear day. Then the object comes down and then you get that reflection because it's in front of the sun. That object is clearly in front of the the Rigel, and I'm wrong again because that's not the sun. Because at 10 something p.m., that is not the sun. Okay. Now we come into the p.m. hours, and it's going to get around to 10 p.m., and we're going to have that object get in front of Rigel Cantaris B because the sun's already up. There it comes in front of there and gets that reflection over to there. It's not webcam flares or anything. The cameras shoot totally crystal clear and give us beautiful images of what's actually going on. Actual photos, images. Also going to pop through these photos real fast of I think Lasco 2 or 3 and the idea that you're going to see this massive in which I don't think that that's Jupiter. But that's the only thing that it should be that damn big. And here's this triangle of flashing that I zoomed in at a thousand percent. And here's some more photos of that time there. You can click back and freeze that up and go, okay, we got it, you know, because trying to push this as much stuff in as possible into that, okay? Those are the shots that I picked up from there. Okay, and here is our eclipse, basically, again, down there at Palau today, okay? This was pictures in the last 24 hours at Palau, okay? So there wasn't anything in the middle sections and not really much happening because the, the, the eclipse pretty much took care of covering up even the dark object coming across the sky. They didn't get enough straight and probably cloud cover also. As you can see that their idea of their cloud cover down there was pretty much all day long. All 24 hours long. And so basically you get this triangle flop and also the V action here as you can see as these are shots from... Blasco 3. And also the next video I have is going to basically show you that more than likely they've been shooting at way more than one sun for a long time because they're basically taking the veil off at Helio server is back up and they basically can't hide what's actually out there. And this is our close option. I think I slipped this in real fast. 1.8 AU. There's your data. And then let's plop over here. There's a shot of it coming by on TELUS. Okay, and there's a, basically if anybody's looking at any SOHO action this afternoon, this was taken at like 5 something. I put it in there. There is 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time today. So the idea that if you look at SOHO stuff today, within three or four hours, most all of the, the, our objects moon. This is Jupiter back here. I believe this is Venus. And then I believe, I don't know, Mercury, because I believe Mars is back over there behind the moon and the sun going down in the west. Okay, so... That'll pretty much take care of you there, and like I say, there we got, I had this earlier because I screwed up on a recording, but here, there is a shot that someone took, uh, it's on uh, Space Weather of the Eclipse down there, or somewhere farther south that he was able to get it, maybe South Africa or something like that. You can go to Space Weather and check it out, and i.e. you will see through these photos that the idea that this shadow gets made by this object in front of the, the Rigel Cantaris B or whatever other sun that's super giants that's coming down at 10 to 12 that's exactly right, 12 a.m. And then from the 11.50 p.m. hour as we back up, it starts coming in at 10.50 p.m. And then through, it goes to the next day and 1 a.m. So there's your photos to show you that, that it's basically making that anomaly because this here is that object coming in front of whatever sun, the smaller one, 76 to 56% of the sun that it is. Okay, let's go ahead and see. All right, folks, I will show you a so, uh, little bit of Hawaii footage, but it just won't load, and I think there's a ton of people watching it. There might be some really good stuff there, so go to the Hawaii footage. Now, this is Helios over, and they basically contract and use Soho footage, okay? Now, I don't know if they impose this stuff, and I think they do on top of each shot, 
but they are showing the shots that they get from different and they are not going to sit this private company knows what they know scientifically the idea that these are the suns now i'm playing with the tape as you can see it's 2 11 11 18 and it'll play through now you can see our object that they know and helio server wants to let you see and we've all been trying to tell you that it is up there humongous object okay then these solar flares and reflections of sunlight from the supergiants and from the suns get through and give us the objects that we are seeing down on earth okay here i get to finally freeze it for a second and i'll play this in a second there is our sun in the milky way but is it or not because the idea that this is possibly our sun here the black area okay and then the idea that you'll see the solar flares off the other shots and as you can see is this a shot of this right there or another one of the shots at the idea that if you went to the, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure that I gave you tonight's uh, constellation chart, okay? And yeah, you'd have to basically go ahead and look up the constellation chart for these dates and times, okay? But as you see that this, this camera shot here, this camera shot here, and this camera shot here, basically from the same satellite, but the different cameras, different shots that they do take with the different lenses and cameras, okay? So that the idea that Helio servers are starting to be honest with us and doing this overlay and saying basically this is what this is. Okay, so the idea that you're getting this here flare from our sun, I believe. Okay, I believe this here is our flare from our sun, and this is basically this shot here that Helio server gets you. That then more than likely this actually could be Rigel Kinteris B or another one of the suns in the supergiant in front of us. Either that or they're just giving us three imposed images of the sun at one time, but this is not an anomaly. Okay, this object exists. This is why the, the uh, Vatican ended up paying and supplying a telescope on space shuttle mi mission years ago and you can look it up and I've even showed video footage of it and links to it and you can look at YouTube and you will find links to it something like why you fit or it's like 50 okay or something like that and it's not why you 55 or whatever I think one of our close objects came by no it's up there and it's by the sun and it's a massive planet and it's like that head that's up there okay it looks like a head you see that how it gets that kind of a object that it's a head or something it's an object in space whether everybody believe don't get me on the religious thing because yes i believe whatever now does the spirits or god or whatever he or she whatever does it put that there who the hell knows but it's there it's up by the sun okay so let's play this footage here because basically i'm having a hard time and go to the hawaii footage and try to see what you can see if you can get it to play or to load because i'm trying to get it to load to play for you to this video tonight and i can't get hawaii to i get the beginning picture but it won't load the movie player to be able to play that image for you and so there you go so that's a flare of one well, idea what it did flare it flared big i mean we get flares all the time up there but this is a big flare that is base cme that was on the 21st 22nd something like that it's a lapse from and as you can see there's different dates also on the camera views too so this is all honest here what the dates are and they're imposed on top of each other okay so when they do have that like varying right here the idea that then you basically have to realize that someone is trying to overwrite like rewrite in the Bible or something there because the idea that it's a different dates so these are different dates different times so pay attention to that that's not me trying to play with it is whoever and then uh basically this is helio's viewer that did that for us and we appreciate it helio viewer we love your action and we we're really pissed that you were down for a long time there too and i got a feeling it might have been nasa not letting you show what you wanted to show and basically you can see check that out as i'm watching here and check the action out to the let's let it play because it plays real fast watch just the action up over here to the right movements as we've seen that other flaming object that was up there by the sun. Okay, this is an object by the sun. Humongous, because the size of the sun, folks. Realize how humongous that is and all the humongous of all the stuff at these flares and also objects in the supergiants. Because these solar CME flares are humongous. All the objects in the supergiants are 4 to 78 times the size of the sun. Okay. So we have some very interesting views in space these days, ladies and gentlemen, and they are starting to let us see it. And we thank you very much, HelioViewer.org, and we'll put the legal deal. During our normal time of seeing our Rigel Cantaris B, the eclipse didn't let us see it. Okay? It has watched the clock there, you see? So let's watch the future and see if it shows up again.
and it didn't show up because of the eclipse. Michael Scammer, let's watch for.